Hello, McWarriors and Tacticians of the Future. Welcome back to Battletech and playing hardball. Let's say hello to our beautiful Argo and her swinging healthy legs. And, well, we do have another contract. And, well, I think I said we didn't want to do it, right? Because it doesn't feel worth it, especially due to the hit in reputation that we will suffer with the pirates and we are already down here to just friendly yeah but yeah i mean the money is okay isn't it i mean the loot is actually pretty bad considering and it could also be you know like usually you would i guess you wouldn't do it you know if you are a sane commander of a mercenary group because the risk with five skulls is possibly not worth it. However, this is playing hardball. And, well, also, you know, I also do feel the need to be entertained and to entertain you guys. Yeah, I hope you feel a little bit grateful for that. Um, and we'll no. see. What are you complaining? So we want to save this one here for the piloting, don't we, right? Yeah. Um, so I think we are doing it. Yeah, I think we are doing it. Oh, we need 8,100 for the guts, yeah. I think we are doing it. Orders? I mean, it, it will, be, uh, it will be pretty nasty, though, I guess. Commander. Okay. But yeah, I mean, right here. I mean, why not, right? Am I in good mood, by the way? Since when is Hammer in good mood? He's a Kickstarter backer. Um, well, who did? No, but no, it's fine, right? In our bay. Yeah, only our bull shark. It's been hit in the head and pretty badly actually. Yeah. No, I think we are just we can just do it. So I think it's okay. So let's do it. Seven hundred and sixty six thousand, let's do it like this. Two pieces. I mean there is probably really good stuff there. Oh let's do it like this. I mean okay, it's really not a good outcome. But we will be on the way for quite a while there and we want to build and we have time to repair I guess. Yeah, so let's do it. It is a risk. We don't really get any reputation, but um, I guess it's fine. Did I just forget to check Ariyamaki? But yeah, I guess it's fine. So let's do this with this with this loadout. So. I guess it's fine. Two head shooters, the king crab, maybe even. I mean, the cyclops. Yeah, well, this would weaken us significantly if we use our cyclops. Although it would be really nice to have the battle computer with the initiative, but no, no. I think we are just rolling like this. Now we need the, uh, you know, the most punch that we can get. We, we don't have the Banshee ready yet, and we don't have the time to build it on this planet, so let's just roll like so. Buckshot, Ariyamaki, and Whisper can gain more experience. Okay, just two medium pilots and Whisper. I think Whisper is already like, yeah, I mean, she's not top tier yet, but she's good, right? So heavy lure. Commander! The Dracon is combined striking an extremely heavy mech with pirate heraldry. This provocation is almost certainly paid for a trap. We'd like you to spring this trap. Engage the heavy mech, intercept the forces the local pirate organization sends to defend it, and destroy all of them. Well, I'm not comfortable with how little information we have about the enemy forces, Commander. Well, neither are we. But, well, that's why we are the hardballs, right? The hardballs. So here we go. And, well, there is... Now I could get used to a place like this. Oh, could you then? 
well. So here we have the team. Actually, I like, oops, I like the lighting. Actually, oh, that's the, the, the king crab looks pretty cool. Since when is everything, everything so red like there? That's actually pretty cool. Is that something new? That's actually pretty cool. Well, so there are enemies to be destroyed. It's actually plain and simple, uh, except for the fact that this is probably a, a trap. So let's have a look. Everything is rather dark here. We have a high ground here, the edge. That's not good. But if we run here, I get I, dou I doubt that anybody is uh, waiting, is lying in there. It's like actually those are modern buildings. That's actually it's all looking pretty good here. Oh, and there is construction going on. Okay. Um, or we go over the left flank. Well, there. Oh yeah, we do have high ground, but then we can't get off of this one. But well, that would actually be nice to do some long-range shooting. Yeah, and just going straight ahead would be a bad idea. So I guess we are actually going on the left flank. I think that's good. Coming from here, we could actually come around like so. And here. They do have the high ground now. They have the high ground from every direction. And if we come from here... We can't even approach them due to this rock formation. So I guess the left flank it is then. Yeah, I think the left flank is good. Also, we can run up on the street here. Yeah. So I have to apologize. I, I still have a little bit of a cold. So let's run forward like so. Because I've been in Sweden, guys. If you have watched my other videos, uh, you probably know already. But if you didn't, Roger now that. you know. It was really nice. Um, but yeah, like the COVID, the post-COVID uh, wrecked immune system uh, couldn't cope with the germs I encountered there, apparently. Yeah, and well, I mean, I don't know if anybody who or whom I hugged was uh, was to be, you know, take responsible, but... Um, Maybe it was just some cake that I bought that would actually correlate uh, hey. with the time. So you run up there. Acknowledged. Yeah, let's run up here this ridge here. That's, that's where we want to go. Where? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Yeah, so let's... Oh, 95 and 80 and 90. Oh my goodness. 95 tons. That's the reinforcements, huh? Okay, well... And that's not good. Well, then let's sprint here. Can we sprint? Yeah, but then we are pre we are showing our right side. That's not so good. But I guess like sprinting is the thing to do now. Or we just jump in here. But we can't do anything. So let's let's sprint. Let's not waste a single little bit of heat. And I think if they come from here, they are going to shoot at us. That's actually not good. I didn't expect anybody to stand there. I thought they might be like, maybe someone could be here or so. But yeah, hmm. what to do now? Shouldn't run too far forward. However, we do have a lot of... But they can I think these two here, they will probably not be able to shoot at us. So let's rather be careful. Yeah, well, no, let's jump in here. Let's jump into the, the forest, but further back, like here. Firing jump jet. Good, whisper. Be careful thou, up there. And then you need to sprint up as well, but... Yeah. No, let's sprint there then. Like so. Just a second. Uh, I need to sound the trumpet. Yeah. 
So, and, uh, and was one more second, sorry. So, there. Okay, no one shot at us, that's good. Oh, they, they didn't notice us, huh? Or what happened there? Well, that's fine. Well, or actually, now that we have so much evasion, let them come. Let's reserve. They are coming, right? Are they coming? Yeah, they are. Oh, it's a Banshee. BNC3S. Miss, good. That's one of theirs on the right flank, good. Then let's reserve some more. Let's use our good evasion. We are there and it's a victor, okay. And they are... Okay, missing again, very good. They are building up some evasion though. Okay, so now these two... 90 and 95, wow, yeah. Well, that is like really nasty there. Um, but... Ariyamaki... We're going to shoot them in the head. So we need to reduce their... What now? Evasion somewhat, and I think... Buckshot, you are going to shoot both of them. You're doing a double shot, and if you jump suddenly over here, let's jump there. It's kind of bad because we don't have the evasion, but... Like if we are here, no, but then we need to shoot both of them. These guys will come over. It's not so good, but yeah, at least we can get closer to the forest, so... Let's do it like that. Yeah, Jumping there. Here we go. Good. There you go. And then we do a double uh, multi target. There and there. And yeah. I mean. Let's do it like this. Doesn't really matter. But I want to destroy the victor actually. Now let's, let's fire like this. Okay. Good. 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 So there. That guy's coming forward, shooting LRMs. Okay, yeah, I was actually expecting some LRMs. They are very nice. Not one hit. Excellent. Or oh, very high evasion. Pays off. Ariyamaki. Standing by. Now you are actually... Well, or we could actually mess him up a bit. Um, 90... I think we are shooting the victor in the head. Yeah. Got AC twenty. This guy has the banshee has way more damage potential though. Oh, that's actually not so bad. He could explode his uh, his ammunition here. Heat sinking. Yeah. yeah, that was actually a good hit. Tactically, a good hit. Where sits the AC twenty on the right arm? All right. Oh yeah, well. Yeah. They are actually they are actually not so they don't have so much armor actually. And the Banshee has way more armor. So Ariyamaki Um need to jump. Let's jump there. Oh yeah, that's great. Jumping here, you can't see that one, huh? Yeah, but let's concentrate on these first two there. Engaging jump jets. Very nice. And crap jumping in. Then that's just the LBX. Yeah. 
cool. It's even only 65. Oh, yeah, well. So we are actually sensor locking this guy, the Victor, that should neutralize his AC-20. We are not shooting, just sensor locking. Sensor and then we'll have on. two headshots. We, are, we don't know if we can actually do two shots. What's that? He's retreating. Oh no, he's, he tries to come from high ground, okay. That is actually not totally uh, dumb because he can expect these three really heavy mechs um, to last a while while he comes into a posit <coughs> into an advantageous position from up here. So we possibly we caught these guys by surprise a bit. They were not uh, in the most favorable position yet. So, hardball. We are jumping... Well, we could actually jump just here into high ground. I think that would actually be a good idea. From here we can shoot... Oh yeah, excellent. From up here we can shoot the Banshee in the head. Very good. Let's just hope that no one comes from here that, who shoots us in the back, but I guess it's fine. But let's also keep a little bit of distance to these guys. Yeah, let's do that. So let's jump and, and let's present the, the uh, full front. Jump jets. There. Very nice indeed. Build up a lot of Evasion there shooting him in the head and if we failed shoot the head There's a good chance that we hit the side torso and explode his ammo. I guess There. Oh, it looks good. Oh beautiful beautiful excellent Beautiful the Banshee is down Good 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 that gave us plus 10 resolve Let's kill. Oh and someone is coming. Okay. Hmm and we don't have yeah okay well whisper um how about you you jump around let's jump around with you like jump there yeah let's build up the the highest evasion and then you are actually sensor locking this other guy let's not waste any heat here good and this way we are messing with this guy oh it's a highlander okay but we are miss messing with the sensor also that reduce our risk we need to be careful here so there we, the Victor is still sensor locked. Um, and I guess Hardball could and should do another one. Let's be careful like this guy will probably shoot us in the back. But if we are here, he can only shoot us in the back with LRM. So and here from here we can nicely shoot this guy again. So let's do that. Let's do that. We are a bit close to that guy but I guess it's fine we have four evasion could do it from here as well no but we need the high ground and hardball is our best shot right now so he needs to shoot the, the guy in the head so let's let's go for four evasion Engaging, jump yeah jump. jumping beautiful I love the marauder Position strike. The guy doesn't have any evasion. That looks so good. And come on. No, no, no. Oh, only two. Or what? No, not even one hit in the head. Oh, come on. Oh, that was disappointing. But the right torso is open. Commander. Okay. So, mm, yeah. So actually, like this guy is also the Highlander has SRM6, LRM20, PPC. Oh, I think he has something special here. The gyro. Well, this guy 
doesn't look special at all. Well, I mean, Whisper could actually be a bit more defensive, so let's actually jump around again. Let's jump here, and then we are sensor locking that guy. The others are still sensor locked, I guess that's fine. Good, Whisper. You can hone your piloting skills a bit. 95. And what is it? Another Banshee, alright. Where the big door comes around, we can actually. Our other two guys can shoot them up a bit. Okay. That ball is under fire. That was to be expected. And now the guy has two evasion again. Well, we can shoot up the Highlander. So, and I have no idea. HGN733P, that doesn't sound like anything that we have. That we have or ever had encountered, I'm not so sure. Oh, it's an elite outrider, by the way, elite brawler, and in, an elite lancer. Hmm. I'm here. Yeah. Well, and we could shoot the guy up. Good to go. The next one. The Highlander is still a little bit crippled. But I think the Highlanders of the obvious uh, target for us right now. So Ariyamaki, you jump around. Let's jump forward. And then we are shooting him up with everything that we have. We are doing a full alpha strike on that guy. Because we need the resolve to shoot the others in the head with our marauder. So. Up high. Yeah. King Crab. Jumping in, like just like that, and then all on the Highlander. Well, Alpha, oh, this is just 60%. Hmm. Why is it all just 60%, by the way? Oh, why are we shooting so badly? Well, because Ariamaki is not the best, the best shot, huh? Um. Well, under these circumstances, well, but it's not getting much better, I guess. But we would use up all our heat potential as well. So I feel we are sh we should rather sensor lock this guy, and then we are we are doing the victor. I mean, he, the Highlander is still sensor impaired. Ah, oh, he's got the oh yeah, he's got the uh, the cover now. And he will soon have cover as well. Oh well. Now let's shoot him. Let's shoot him up. It's just 60%, but I guess it's yeah. It's on right target. Now. There, look. There, good. Good, good, good. Right, some missiles went off. Yeah, but we shook him up. Good. Oh, and a miss. Very good. Very good. Highlander is coming up. He's a nice pilot. Okay. Hey. And then shot. If you jump, yeah, you can actually rather walk up. Yeah, with the annihilator, uh, jumping is more like just to traverse. Yeah. Yeah, now we have the problem. Like this guy. Yeah, we are well. We do have a good chance actually to explode his uh, his AC twenty. I think that's actually not so bad to shoot him from the side. Like that, and where's this guy? There. Yeah. So we definitely want to get up here. Yeah, I think it's fine. 70% for the Ultra Auto Cannon. I think we can do that. Would be nicer to sensor lock the guy first, but I guess it's fine. So let's walk here. You need to mess them up and quickly. Um, or should we actually reduce his evasion a bit? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do multi target. And this one and that one. And I think this one was 65. 
that was 70 so let's shoot the lbx on him yeah so let's do like that full auto it's not ideal but uh, the highlander also got a shot on the right leg so we have a good chance to put him on the ground i guess depending on what we are hitting so let's do it. there looks good right arm you're nice ammo explosion very nice very nice indeed and even another stray shot very nice indeed i would say when oh, he also got some good stuff there i think he found our uh, found us now there's the banshee because uh, there look there at the color so uh, no what was this it was him here so i'm not entirely certain but this looks like he has some special stuff right it's it's not a cryo laser or anything but the color could mean that there's something special so. Yes, Commander. so i want to see some headshots now and actually we need to shoot the banshee in the head because he's on high ground and it's getting a bit dangerous there um yeah they are actually messed up oh yeah he's really messed up now that's good he should have at least one uh, pilot injury now. So what I want to do is to jump. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, but he's a brawler, but he can't get close to us, I guess. So you can jump here and shoot him in the head. Let's do that. Hopefully with the Gauss rifle. That guy is there. Yeah. It's not entirely riskless what we are doing, but it's fine, I guess. So, and we can shoot everything, it's good. And whisper. There's some chances to hit the head. Let's do that. So, here, yeah, precision strike, come on, whisper. 35%. Banshee. Oh, that looked good, but he's got 40%. Yeah, at it, but she hit the head, okay. And I'm not sure if we... Oh, yeah, well... Okay, good. We She she hit the head pretty good, actually. Center and left side torso. It's got heat sinks and the legs only. Okay. Oh, and the left arm is a shield arm. Right arm. Huh? He's got nothing on the arms. Ah. Okay, so I guess he's also brawling. Okay. Hard ball. Well, we can't do much now, unfortunately. Okay, so let's actually... Let's just jump away. Let's jump here. And then we are sensor locking someone. Um, and I think we are actually sensor locking the Banshee. Because he's on high ground. And the others have been messed up a bit. And our Ariamaki and Buckshot can actually shoot them some more. So in that way we lose some heat as well. Everything else would be a waste and we can't shoot him in the head anyway. There, yeah, sensor lock. There you go. I mean he's shaken up pretty much, but with double PPC and all, I mean he can I guess he can do half an alpha strike or something. There comes the Victor. Yeah. Okay. It was worse than I thought, even. Light damage, Commander. Yeah. Okay, then. So, and now. Yeah. Well, the Highlander. So yes, Commander. Maria Maki. If you shoot him, what could you actually shoot? Minus the, oh, it's just 40%. What's going on with you? Obstructed, long range, target moved, and enemy effects. What is what kind of enemy effects do we have? Huh? What kind of enemy effects? What? What kind of enemy effects? Enemy effects minus three. What? 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 We are not sensor locked. What is that? I wonder. Okay, well, so I guess, I guess you're actually not shooting, but you are sensor locking the guy as well. 
I guess we could mess up, uh, but the victor, I mean, he's a brawler, he's coming close now, but we're just jumping away now. Yeah, I think we need to do something about the Highlander. Yeah. So, okay, then we are... King Crab can just walk. Yeah, walk it off. That presents us as a target now, but I guess that's actually the smartest thing to do right now. And then we are sensor locking the guy. Roger. Yeah. Yeah, and we have the cover... Islander, sensor lock. I mean, it's sort of a waste as well with the sensor lock because he's going to build up evasion. Oh, there. Okay. They understand the danger they are in. Yeah, Islander, this one again. Oh, and Buckshot, no. you are kind of heated up now. Or in heat, Buckshot, are you in heat? Um, and that's actually a good shot at the victor. We could actually do a double shot again and strip both of them of their evasion. Ah, let's do that. Minus the ultra auto cannon. Let's do that. Like from here, then we are even higher. We are 95. Yeah, that's good. Let's do that. There. Okay. We'll target minus the ultra auto cannon twenty. Um, I wonder, by the way, when we are doing because we are ignoring the cover. But only on the victor. I don't understand that, by the way. Well, we don't even have one weapon selected. But well. So I think like this here. Shooting at both, stripping them of their evasion. I'll try. Messing them up a little bit more. Nice, good. That was a breaching shot. Okay, well, uh, then it's just that we just shoot one weapon. Oh, yeah, good. That's a miss. Very good. The Banshee. Oh, and now they're, 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 oh, that's a Victor. Okay. Oh, a sharpshooter. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was not good. 90 damage. We received 90. Where did we receive that? Oh, no. On the leg. Okay, well, yeah, time to jump around. So let's jump. Um, and well, I want to shoot the Banshee in the head. Yeah, let's not panic here, but that's a problem. Um, and we can't shoot him from there, so that's actually not good. And jumping into lo uh, the lower position, that's also not a good idea, actually. But we could jump up here. Can we actually jump anywhere where we... Yeah. The Victor has an AC-20. Did he just hit us with the... No, the AC-20 is out of range, right? It was the AC-20. It was in range, and he hit us. Hmm. Yeah, because they, the other stripped us of our evasion. Okay, well then, so if we if we jump here, let's say, then we do have 95 on everything. Yeah, well, it's that. That way our right leg is protected as well. Let's do that. Engaging jump jets. And I didn't want to take the risk that something else uh, shows up or something. Position strike on the Banshee, 33%. We can do a full Alpha, excellent. 
So that we only need one hit in the head. That should be enough. Come on. Do it. One in the head, just one. Yes, that looked pretty good. Yes, very nice. Beautiful. From the side. Right through the temples. Very nice indeed. Um, and, uh, well. Which one of them? I guess the Highlander, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you just jump away. Jump there, whisper, and build up the the most evasion, and then we are sensor locking. Highlander, so we are very tactical today. Sensors locked on. Good. Oh, yeah. Oh well, that hit us. Systems holding. I actually had hoped that someone else would move around. Well, and he has this gyro here. I want the gyro, or at least see what it is. So I actually I would like to shoot him in the head. So we stripped him around. Yeah, we stripped him of a lot. And this one. Yeah. Well. Let's do this. So Ariyamaki. Yeah, well actually Buckshot. Could shoot the ultra auto cannon, right? You could just stand there. Whisper could shoot this guy in the head next turn. Oh, we can't shoot the ultra auto cannon. We could mess him up pretty much. Um maybe even explode him if we hit well enough or put him on the ground yeah let's do that let's let's shoot like so let's shoot like so we're just standing here we have the bulwark okay yeah well okay we didn't hit that we didn't hit the leg very bad bit disappointing there Yeah, but he also just stood there, huh? So, well then. This guy is nasty though, but our marauders can mess him up. Okay, so then let's just move here like so. Yeah. Okay, we are, we are just shooting this guy. Uh, because that's a Victor. VTR9B, what oh, this one was. Now we don't know it anymore. Yeah. Oh well, I guess it's the same one, but I think we have uh, we Moving have the victor as our max right. We go here. It's just seventy. Yeah, well, Ariyamaki, you are not such a good shot actually, but it's fine. So let's just mess him up. We can shoot everything right except for the AC twenty. Or, or maybe let's rather let's lose one. Let's lose one M laser. Yeah, that's bad. 70%. That looks pretty okay now. We could use the precision strike, but I don't want to. We need the... Oh, you missed the IC-20. Come on! Ariyamaki, what were you thinking there? That, had, the that could have been beautiful. Oh! Yeah, well, so he's when we are in space, he gets some extra hours in the simulator. Oh, yeah, very good. He just shot the rock. Okay, so now, yeah, now we need to shoot this guy in the head. I want what he has. I want to have it like at least on the loot table. So, yes, whisper. 
hard ball is pretty much heated up. So let's actually jump around again, like here, protecting our right leg. There. And then we are sensor locking the guy, stripping him of his evasion and preparing the mech for Whisper's headshot. Whisper, you need to jump. Like, can you actually even jump? Yeah, I mean, four should be okay, right? Yeah. Let's jump here. That seems to be the highest point. And I want to see a clean headshot now. I want to see his stuff. There. Come on, shoot him. What? Oh. Minus one M laser then. Come on, shoot him in the head. With the Gauss rifle. On. I no. Oh, come on. Okay, only one hit. PPC crit. Okay, well, at least that. Yeah, you should have shot him in the head with more. Okay, but yeah, that shook him up a bit. At least that. It's an elite outrider. Receiving you. Yeah, usually like during daylight, you can't really see the color so well. So then usually, but this looks like some something really special there. I feel hey. a bit greedy. Yeah, and you can actually, let's fall back a bit. And then you shoot this guy again. Oh yeah, you are a bit immobile there. And like from here, yeah, I guess that's fine. Yeah, buckshot. Screen there. The annihilator. Higher ground. We are a bit... We are in good temperature there. Oh no, the Ultra Auto Can 20 is also out of range. Yeah, I guess now you are actually exploding him, huh? Yeah, that's that. So all of it. Into the guy. One. Oh, oh, missed again. Now that is like... That looked like a critical hit. That's super messy. But at least he's not such... Oh, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay, good. I thought he was going to um, in, go into melee. Okay, well, only 23. Oh, yeah, well, now he's just a Hulk. Waiting for orders. Ariamaki. Can you. Um, could go here and then. Well, I mean, shooting him in the back is also not the best idea. Yeah, well, though, no, then let's let's fall back. Let's go like so, and then we are sensor locking the Highlander again, just like this. Losing some heat. On the move. That's actually fine, I guess. That guy can't do anything. Sensor locking the Highlander, denying him of his precision. Something is moving. What's that? This guy? I guess so. Oh, there we do have some more enemies. No, we don't. That was stupid. Um, okay, hardball. I mean, hardball could actually explode this guy just by messing him up in melee, I guess. Could do that. That would actually lose us a lot of heat. But then we are actually rather exposed to this guy but actually let's do that let's do that let's punch him now that he came up like that and he only has 23 left so that was actually not smart of him let's do that we've not seen a lot of uh, brawling lately anyway so let's brawl him 115 come on there yeah. engaging physical attack there yeah, very nice very nice indeed. Enemy mech I had hoped for another camera uh, angle though. Okay, and Whisper, now you walk here, like so, and then you can shoot him in the head again with whatever heat you have left. 
Ja. Yeah. Close up the mechs looks so cool. Precision strike. In the head. Minus two M laser, so but yeah, I mean theoretically now only one hit with anything should be enough. Come on, and yeah, excellent. I think now she hit everything, huh? Like it, but that's Next good. One. So whatever gyro he has, I think that's ours now. And how's it going? Move here. Oh, yeah, excellent. Just in range. Let's move down there with the King Crab. Generating some evasion and moving into sensor locking range. And what do we have here? It Sensor's is the big door. Yeah, I think it was the same one, right? 9S. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the same model. So. And Buckshot. You can shoot him actually pretty nicely from there, okay. Well, let's do that. Why not? Does this guy have anything special? Can we see anything? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, okay, he's hiding. Yeah. 80% with the AC-10. Yeah, let's shake him up a bit, huh? We don't even need the... Oh no, well, actually we can ignore his guarded and reduce our heat a bit. Yeah, let's do that. Then we are just shooting the Ultra Auto Cannon. It has the highest damage potential. Refires plus one, but it's fine. 85% now, but it's, it should be okay. Weapon accuracy unmounted. It's that, and we are inspired. So, why is it, by the way, how, why do we, it's 16 heat. So it's 12 heat and 8 heat. Uh, 6, then we have 18. So actually, uh, yeah. well, Let's actually only shoot the LBX. That way we ignore his 20% damage reduction and we have a higher hit chance. By the way, this this 85, huh? why, why was it reduced? Okay, no. Hmm. no. We're just shooting this one. Just shaking him up a bit. Bam. Not sure how we shot through the... The rock there. Ordered. Okay, whisper, very good. You can you just walk around like so. And then you're also sensor locking him. On the move. Getting rid of some heat. Walk it off. Sensor lock. Got a lock. Yeah, all his alarms in his cockpit are going off. Hard ball. Can also lose some heat. We don't know if anything is coming around here, but we are fairly safe. We know that he doesn't have any LRMs, right? Yes, only SRMs. So let's just walk here. Our right leg is da uh, is messed up, or like, uh, let's say significantly scratched. Let's go here. Do we see something? No. Okay. Well. Let's sensor lock the guy as well. That should make him nervous. Okay, very nice. He's walking around and uh, then... Oh yeah, okay, well, he's getting into cover now. But that's fine. Adia Maki, I need you to sensor lock him now. Walk there. Yeah, good. He's in sensor locking range, right? Yes, he is. So I'm not sure if the, there was Order. talk of just one mech, so maybe this is like the whole land or something. I'm not sure. Sensor locking him again. I've got a sensor lock. Stripping locked. the what now? Evasion, and we go here, and then we can shoot him again. Okay, let's go. 
I hope no one is actually uh, getting him out of there. Yeah, let's have the, the Ultra Auto Cannon is obviously not in range here. Yeah. So let's have the, yeah, we are losing a lot of heat there. That's great. Just the LBX again. Ignoring the cover there, very nice. Then Whisper, you are still heated up a bit. Let's move here. Moving to position. Yeah, just take it easy, Whisper. Then we are sensor locking him. And then actually the guy doesn't have any chance of hurting us. Unless he gets really lucky there. Good, hardball. Yeah, well, actually, I'd hope that we could do a nice headshot from up here now. And, well, we can, but from the side. But it's good enough, I guess. Presenting the left side a bit. With five evasion. There. Very nice indeed. And let me say very nice indeed again, please. Full alpha. All in the head. And... Nice, that looked good, but it wasn't enough. Or was it? Yes, very nice. That was precision. Very nice indeed. All targets down, Commander. Good shooting. Excellent, excellent. So, that's good. All right. Very nice. 147. Oh, we what? Didn't we get a bonus? Hmm. Draconis is... Not very gener generous today, but well. So I think that went that went pretty well. Yeah. Got a pretty nasty hit with the AC20 in the uh, in the right leg, but it's fine. All right. So I now now let's have a look. Oh, and another banshee. We can build another banshee there. But let's first look. LRM20 double a uh, triple plus. Yeah, that's actually. That's a nice piece of equipment there. Um, such a pity. Ah, it's a gyro, but with melee hit, okay. And the rest is just... No, it's not standard crap. It's also a good rangefinder here. But nothing that we really need. And the TTS is also two tons, yeah. One ton. Okay, well, actually, I think we are taking the mech parts. I mean, the AC-20 would be good. Uh, the LRM-20 triple plus would be good, I, th uh, I think. So let's have a look. The Victor. We have one Victor of uh, 9S. And the Banshee 3S. Oh, my goodness. If I only knew what we have. Well, we could have two Banshees now. Only it would say how many pieces we already have. That would be so good. Well, I think we are going for the Banshee because it's also heavier and therefore... Oh, it's a 9B and 9S. I'm not sure if we have those mechs, but I think we already have the, uh, the weight class. So this here, the 9B, is few assault max mount jumpsuits, uh, jets, but the Victor 9B is one of them. With the large ballistic gun and supporting close-range weaponry, the 9B is a deadly opponent with superior mobility for its size. Unfortunately, this comes at the cost of armor. And this one is the Victor 9S trade some of its already subpar armor to mount more weaponry. It's terrifying for enemy forces to see this mech rocketing over a hill to unleash its considerable firepower, but it also needs to really worry about any return fire. Yeah. And this Highlander. Highlander 733P is a variant of the 733 model that removes its autocannon and replaces it with the PPC. It also handles heat buildup better. That sounds pretty rare to me. And we could build the mech if we take all three parts. But I I think we are going for the Banshee. Like definitely this one, the 3S. 
3S sacrifices trademark speed for a large expansion and firepower. 3S fills the role of a well-armored sniper spotting two PPCs and an AC-10 while still being capable of inflicting heavy melee damage. That also sounds pretty cool. I like the versatility here. So then we have this one for sure. And then, I mean, we could we could also just take one part of each because we can't build it yet anyway. Maybe we should do that, huh? Because I'm actually not sure if we've ever seen this one, and it would be sad. Maybe we run into it. So let's let's get one of these. Then we are at three parts for the 733P, and the 3M. We push to four parts of the five. Yeah, I think that's... And maybe we get another part as well. So that's also the chance, right? So let's do this. And... Well, we got another Highlander. That's good. Okay, then we had four. Okay, well, did we get lucky in other dimensions? Well, we got the TTS. Okay, well... Oh, but that, that was actually... That was pretty good. So, well, with the five skulls, um, we can be rather guaranteed to encounter either a huge amount of mechs or something big and rather rare, right? So, yeah, and we have to put it in storage. Um, so, this here. Oh, by the way, so and then... Oh, no, we have this 3S. Oh, well, okay, then. We already have it. But now we have another one. Well, let's put it into storage. Oh, no, actually, this one, what is with this one? Is that empty? Heavy brawler. Oh uh, no, I think it, uh, of course, uh, of course it doesn't have any equipment, so let's send it, this one, the 3S, into storage. There you go, actually we could, uh, we could, we could sell it directly, huh? We do have the 10%, oh no, it's just 5 now, oh yeah, well, that's very sad. But let's have a look at the mech parts again, was there something, Jaeger mech, Locust? The Marauder, yeah. The Locust 1V. The Locust 1V. Yeah, we have it. Okay. Yeah, well. So, guys, and this ends this episode. Thanks for watching. We are going to travel in the next episode and we are going to build max um the stalker and the banshee 3s um and we are going to travel to the other flashpoint that we know of right this one here and i think that's a good uh, thing while it expires in 108 days it's on the way it's 18 days to get there and then after that, this one is 79, it takes 44 days, but I feel that we should do this one here, the Flashpoint campaign, because I don't know how long it takes for the, if there's another one, this could be the last one because it's five skulls, but if it's not, we have some more time. So, and then this adds up to 40, with 40 days to get there, 40 plus the 18 well I guess it's roughly 40 from there or maybe even less and then we should be able to get here in time yeah with 79 days expiration for the white lies and then I mean there there are no more flash points around not sure if there will be more of them we didn't see too many that had a very high uh, skull rating actually um let's see not sure how many missions they have but we are also running out of time with our companion by the way i'm not entirely certain 
if we could actually keep playing after this after the time uh, timer is uh, running out yeah and by the way i would just wish if they had done this one here a bit better that you have an overview you know like that you know okay we have the light medium and so on mac class fulfilled this is like that's not so not well done actually yeah and i want to have 1000 is the maximum here because we are already nearly at the maximum here but we'll see so we'll see so and our goal is to um get as many points yeah and the thinking is well actually the thinking is that we are going to retire um for sure once the days are over i guess it's uh, it's a necessity if we are able to play further i guess we could go to another five skull planet or something somewhere and actually there is no five skull planet but there is a 4.5 i think right oh yeah there actually there are several yeah well we'll find one of them and and we are going there anyway if the when, once we have done the flashpoint stuff yeah because we we are able to do it and it gives us more experience per level anyway so and let's have a short look uh, at our pilot and yeah and by the way so if you want to uh, share an idea what you would like to see in the max please do tell and i am going to build it um well and if you don't then i'm just messing around uh, as always okay. so buckshot yeah we are going for the piloting of course oh yeah but that's just 50 experience points now yeah she will be still inspired in high spirits uh, in the next on the next planet yeah so let's end with the argo spinning her legs um thanks for watching i hope you liked this episode i found the fight pretty cool um although it was rather straightforward but we were in need of going a little bit more tactical again that i like and i do uh, remember the grand battles of the beginning when we were actually outgunned and outmatched and outnumbered significantly that was really hard but also pretty exciting and now i mean the risk is there we don't really uh, know it but you know we can be messed up pretty easily actually if we get unlucky yeah and we'll see if we remain lucky um while minimizing the risks so thanks for watching i hope well if you liked anything at all about this episode please do click the like button and don't forget to subscribe because then you are not only showing your kindness and support this little channel here but you also never ever miss an episode again. See you next time. Bye-bye.